Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. It's been a while. I never recorded any videos. Today, I'm going to talk about the popular Kubernetes cost optimization tools. Yeah, since it's been a while, I got some new titles. Yeah, the, I'm actually the first uh, Cube astronaut globally. So I managed to, to be the first one to pass all the Kubernetes certifications. That brings me a Cube astronaut title. And plus, uh, I got uh, a very nice Kubernetes blue jacket. So in addition, I'm also AWS community builder for three years, the third year now. And uh, so far, I'm 11 times AWS certified. So the reason we talk about AWS also relevant to Kubernetes cost optimization is if you look at market share, AWS, Amazon EKS is the clear leader. Okay, let's get started. So before I jump into the details about the tools, popular cost management tools, let's talk about uh, what are the typical challenges uh, customers running production Kubernetes. So I did a survey sometime back. So what's your day to challenges running Kubernetes? So yeah, it's a backup uh, DR migration. That's the big challenge. And the other one is security. And just after the backup DR migration, the security cost management, that's the also very important challenges. So previously I recorded a lot of videos about the backup uh, DR migration. So the B stands for backup, okay? If you go to http uh, column slash slash b.kesuga.com, you can find a lot of videos about a backup DR migration using all different tools. It could be commercial, could be open source. And the same thing, you know, for security. Previously, I also recorded a lot of videos about the security, S for security. Okay, uh, if you click this link, it will take you to the playlist of all different uh, open source security tools, including Fargo from Osystic, including Cube Armor from Acunox, et cetera. So my next focus is, uh, you know, cost management. So I got the link here, but I don't have any video yet. This is the first video we're going to talk about our cost management. Okay. And let's see, uh, what are the cost management tools uh, out there? So I only know a few. So I hold up the carbon. Uh, it was originally developed by AWS, uh, now become a sandbox project of CNCF. And I similarly, I also did a survey sometime back and uh, among all these, uh, you know, popular Kubernetes cost management tools, you can see Cube Cost is one of the popular tool, and then Exostella, and then Cast AI, and also Spot by NetApp. That's you know the a few of these. I know these companies uh, because when I visit uh, Kubecon events, so far I joined three Kubecon events in Amsterdam, Chicago, and Paris. Yeah, literally, I saw all these companies every time. So I haven't tried all of these tools yet, but I'm planning to do some learning and then record some videos about the Carpenter, Cooper, Exostella, and the rest of the tools. So yeah, there is another tool I haven't talked about. It's, it's called Aptio Cloudability. They actually got a new name because it was acquired by IBM. So now they call IBM Cloudability. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I just want to highlight what the popular tools the customer are using or what I was seeing when I join some events or I see some customers are using any one of the tools. So I will try to spend some more time to you know, record a video about each one of the tools in the following uh, could be weeks or months. So if you want to you know, join me to learn more, this is uh, Kesuga. Kesuga is the most active Kubernetes plus AI user group. So far, our LinkedIn page, we got uh, 7,000 followers in just one year. And uh, I also have the KSDM. It's the most active Kubernetes discussion group. 
yeah, you should join us. So far, we've got uh, 9,000 plus, you know, members who are very active. I'm pretty sure this is the most active Kubernetes discussion group. So for today's session, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. If you have any time, if you have any experience about any one of the Kubernetes cost management tools, yeah, you should record some video to share with the community to help more people to get to know the tools. Thank you for watching. I hope it is useful to you. Yeah, feel free to follow me via any one of the links listed here. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.